So we're now ready to power up. Over to the switch and switch on. If you keep watching the display, you should see a friendly boot up routine. This is just an initialization procedure. Okay, well don't worry too much about what the display is showing at this point. What we're going to do is have a listen to an internal demonstration. Okay, if you look over here, you can see the sequencer and chain play buttons and shown underneath the word demo. Press these two buttons together and a prompt appears. Demo play OK question mark. Well, F5, function key number five, lines up with the box marked OK. So if I press it just once, the demo tune is loaded into the sequencer. Now, normally, sequences are loaded from disk, but in this special case, it's loaded from an internal memory chip. And you can hear the music playing back. Well, there are one or two things you can experiment with. Over here is shown the measure number. That's the bar position within the song. And below that, is shown the tempo of the song in beats per minute. Now, at the moment, the tempo value is highlighted. And using these cursor controls here, up, down, left, and right, I can select which parameter to access. So let's try changing the tempo using the value dial or the increment decrement buttons. I can change the tempo in real time. Let's just move to the measure counter for a moment. Now over here, stop play. Press it once to stop the track. Press it again to restart the track. When I'm stopped, I can move to a different bar position. Alternatively, I can move directly to the beginning of the track by holding down shift backward, or straight to the end, shift forward, or just by pressing these buttons on their own, move in increments or decrements of one measure. Now, just a word of warning, there's a feature called MIDI update. If you're moving to a point within a sequence, you may find that previous data, either affecting the sounds, the patches, performance effects, whatever it might be, may not have been read up to that point. So we need to use MIDI update, which means that basically it corrects for every event up to that point. And to do that, we hold down shift and stop. MIDI update and we get a progress report in terms of a percentage of completion. There we go, MIDI update complete. That means now the track will play back exactly as it was intended from that point. Well, I'll now leave you to listen to the demo tune in your own time.